What's going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to set up the Jasmine JS testing framework on top of Node.js. So I said a lot of JS there, but this is a JavaScript heavy video. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this. I'm using Visual Studio Code. And the first thing I want to do, I'm just going to close this just to start up from scratch. I have a test folder open. It's currently empty. If you want to know how to do this, uh, there are tutorials on Google. I'm not going to get too in depth with all of this. I have shown a separate video on how to start a node project but first things first open a new terminal it's going to be in the file directory you want it and then do npm init i almost said install that is not correct um, okay this will start your node project it may take like 30 seconds for it to work but basically it'll give you a bunch of options package name does not matter to me you can enter these yourself. I don't really care what these are. This is just, I'm gonna fly through this because it's not the point of this video. The point is showing you how to use Jasmine. So, okay, we have package.json, this is important, but uh, up next we want to do npm install express dash dash save. Okay, and this will install the middleware for your project. So it'll give you package lock.json and node modules. These are both important when using Jasmine um, and it will just basically start your node project. Okay, so now that you have these, what you want to do is install Jasmine as well. So do npm install dash dash save dev Jasmine. Now this is only going to install it locally. It's going to install it in your project, it's not gonna install it globally. If you wanna install it globally on your whole computer, you can do dash G. But as you can see later in this video, uh, this will just be way easier because you can just change it to a command that you just type in this line and just run it from your package.json. But okay, so now that uh, Jasmine's been installed, we wanna initialize it in this project. So do npx uh, jasmine init. And this is also gonna uh, create a spec folder here in your testing folder or whatever project folder you have, not testing. But it's gonna create a spec folder and this is where you put your testing files to test your code out. So once this is done, here we go, we have our spec folder. But first things first, open the package.json. And as you can see under here, scrap, scrap, scripts test, there is no uh, useful command in here. So if you change this to Jasmine and then control S for save, um, now whenever you type an npm test, it's going to run Jasmine and run your tests. So I'm going to show you a quick example of some Jasmine tests. I'm going to just paste a dot spec dot JS folder here with tests in it really quick. So just give me one second. Um, okay, copy. Paste. Okay, here we go. And now I have a testing folders or file. So as you can see, it's .spec.js. Basically, this is the original JS folder that I have, or JS file, I keep saying folder, I should say file. And then here's the code that I'm testing on top. And on the bottom here are my test cases. When I start using describe, uh, these are all my test cases that I have. There's integration testing. There's a bunch of stuff here. Not important. This is not a testing tutorial. It's just how to show you how to use Jasmine. But yeah, so I have my tests here. And once you're happy with all the tests you have, all you have to do is type in npm test. And now Jasmine will run this spec.js file and it will run all the tests on the code above it. You know, it can be below it, it can be above it, it doesn't matter, but I just have the test below the code just for coding convention. And boom, as you can see, 27 specs, zero failures. I had to make sure all these tests pass for school purposes, but if you wanna see some errors, let me just try changing this one up really quick. Control S to save. Now this test should fail, and I just want to show you guys what a failed statement looks like. 
Okay, so there is a failure here, 27 specs, one failure, and here is what it looks like. Expected pending to be rejected. So one of the um, functions returned pending instead of rejected, and it'll tell you uh, which test failed. So that's the useful thing about Jasmine. And that is how you set it up with Node.js. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.